Hi everyone, Z here from the Gargular Sash. Today's video, I will show you how to carry care for your female client or patient. And before I proceed for the procedure, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on this channel. And hit the notification bell for um, to stay updated for the new video. Now, we, what you will need for this procedure? Kailangan niyo po ng clean towel, water, two basins. One is for the soap and one's for the rinse. And then under pads. I will not go into the details, but I will show you how it, you will clean your patient's private part or the genital area. You need this towel. Ayan. Dapat po ang um, nakatika po siya ng ganito. And then spray with a hypoallergenic soap. Any kind of soap can do, but make sure it's hypoallergenic. Here, here, and always remember top to bottom for men's pubes to anus. Stroke it from top to bottom. Now, tap the bottom, and now for the middle part, open it, tap the bottom, and then again from tap the bottom, from labia major to either part of the vagina. So, meron pang natitira. So, maybe you will be asking, pwede po pa ituloy? Yes, you can. Rule of thumb. If you think it's not clean yet, go on to the procedure. Keep going. Kung wala na po kayo nakikitang stain na dumidikit dito sa towel, then, you have to rinse na. It's, it's my thing how to very care for my patient. I make sure na malinis yung patient na walang um, residue na nakikita or mga stain na dumitikit dito. And then again, kung you'll do again a procedure, Babal na one. Lagyan ulit ng for me. Yun yan. Kung meron pa rin stain. Repeat the procedure. If there's the stain. One. Two. Three. And four disregard and then I have a new cloth now I will rinse one from top to bottom two three and four disregard and pat dry. So that's how I clean my client's um, private part. Now, from side, same procedure. One stroke going up. On the side, 
up in the middle and again and if you if there's a stain still wash it and do it again repeat if if it's necessary so one two three in the middle and four and disregard and then I try so that's how you do the very care for your female clients again if you have any question just comment down below and I'll glad to hear from you so always remember check if there's a redness broken skin swelling discharge and bleeding so I hope that this video helps for your client and or for your patient so thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video have a good day. Bye.